At Know Your Meme, we take our research very seriously, which is why we internally have scientifically researched and categorically assessed every hot video game character ever made. Any waifu you could possibly conjure in your head has a Know Your Meme page, because we are the wild, wild west of internet encyclopedias, cataloging only the most important information. There are a lot of hot video game characters, ones that break the internet, and at risk of sounding like that video top 10 hottest female Sonic characters, the Sonic universe might also be classified as hot chick heaven. I'm going to cut this intro short. Let's start with some of the awakenings, the characters we grew up with that ruined our minds forever. Chun-Li and Lara Croft. Chun-Li is especially relevant even now as I see fan art and memes about how thick this character is even on my timeline today. It's just a good character design. We horny posted this character so hard she ended up in Fortnite. Although I guess everything is in Fortnite. <laughs> Lara Croft is another character deeply entrenched in horny meme culture. It's crazy, but those 1996 polygons just hit different. 90% of the graphics budget went towards her breasts on the PlayStation. But as the years went on, video game waifus became more prevalent. Cortana from Halo, Bayonetta, which has a few funny memes like when people were photoshopping her legs onto other characters, most notably onto Waluigi, which is an image I can't get out of my brain no matter how much I try. This image of Villager photoshopped onto Bayonetta is how I know hell exists. Gardevoir from Pokemon, Bowsette Makoto from Persona 5, the ballerina twins, hot girls sell. And then some people are into Vaporeon. We don't talk about that copypasta. One of the more famous video game waifus is Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy. She's been around for a while and is one of the big characters in FF7. Pretty cool design, I've always liked the big shoes and the suspension. And of course, who could forget the time hackers literally hacked an Italian Senate meeting to display hentai of her on the screen. All the old senators had a heart attack. That was awesome. I think Italy just added support for Tifa right into the Constitution after that. Tifa Italian pride flag. And of course, there's D.Va from Overwatch, a game that like five people still enjoy, I think. D.Va, who seems like the worst person to hang out with ever, has a pretty cool design, but most notably in meme culture has been represented in her gremlin form. It's sort of a mascot for epic gaming, though. Mountain Dew and Doritos just sitting on the computer for 18 hours straight playing StarCraft, wearing the Eat Games sleep repeat shirt. She clearly seems to be the most cosplayed character ever for TikTok. On top of it all, even as recent as 2022, she is the most searched video game character on Pub. So that's something. Here's a little award. And who could forget 2B from Nier Automata? The blindfold is just cool, man. A lot of people would create panel memes of her, like the It's All Ludes meme, which originated as 2B fan art. Lady Dimitrescu is another interesting video game waifu as we slowly devolve into some of the more, I don't know, weird video game characters to simp. She's insanely tall and like also a vampire. But in 2021, this character was everywhere. And I mean everywhere. You'd get references to that Lauren Phillips lifting Alice Marchesi meme. I mean, she's like 9'6". People would post Squidward flattened, Pepe with his fast food spilled on the ground looking up. It's 4 p.m. Time for your d flattening. The internet's awesome, isn't it? But oh no, the waifus get weirder. That's right. Some people go crazy for the Jenny mod. If you don't know what the Jenny mod is, that's fine. Keep it that way. It's basically just a mod of Minecraft where you can do the do with a hot Minecraft babe. I just don't know why you would have to resort to this blocky character, but it's also definitely the funniest character on this list. I mean, I just can't take it seriously. <laughs> Jenny has been popular in the Let's Play space. I mean, even I've played this thing on Sleep Deprived. Famously, I Show Speed was BAM for failing to censor the Jenny mod. Next topic. Oh, there's Pura. She's been pretty popular recently. In Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, she got a new slick design. And honestly, it's it's pretty fun. I like the big hair and the cool outfit. It's a neat design. This is a respectable e-waifu. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about video game characters now and attempt to get a life. Bye.